Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how to set up your paper in APA 7th edition standards. So the rules have changed a little bit from uh, APA 7th edition versus APA 6th edition. The biggest rule, cha rule changes for papers are that now there are different requirements for student papers versus professionally published papers. So it's a lot easier to put together a student paper now than it used to be. So the first thing to cover, we're going to put in our page number. Now I don't know if you've used APA 6th edition or 5th edition, but there used to be a really complicated running head you would have to put in here. You don't have to do that any longer. So now we just need a page number. So I'm going to go up here to insert. And for insert, I'm going to do page number, top of page, plain number three. So the number is over here on the right. So there's my page number. Now, for my program, this won't happen for you probably, but my I a lot of times have my document set up on a 16 point font. This is taking it as a 16 point font, so I'm going to decrease that font to 12 point. So you probably won't have to do that, but that just happens with my Word, Word program. But definitely double check that your numbering is going to be the same size and style, font style as your, your text is. That can, I see that happen a lot, that that gets off. Okay, this can drive you a little bit crazy. Once you're in the header, you can usually just click down here and it'll let you out. But you can also, what I do up here where it says header and footer tools, I click on this and then I click close header and footer. Okay, so everything's looking good. We got our page number in there. Let's just double check. I'm going to return down to the next page to make sure, okay, there we go. So page two, it is calculating the pages. So that's the important thing. You don't want to get into a situation where you're typing in the page number on every page because then it's not, it should be up here in the margin. If you do that, anytime you change any other text, everything is going to get uh, completely mixed up in your paper. So definitely put the page number up here, just like I showed you there with insert and page number. Okay, now we need a title. So before I do anything, I'm going to go up here by paragraph. There's this little arrow. I'm going to be referring to this probably a few times in this video. This is where I go just to check to make sure everything is set up the way I want it to be set up in my paper. Uh, the main thing I'm going to check is make sure we have double spacing on. And I also always turn this on. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Okay, so we've got that. Let's do the title. Title, this is going to be our title page. So we need to make sure it's uh, the title and all this information is in the top third of the page. So I'm going to return probably about four times, three to four times here. I'm going to center this. Now, a, a change from the sixth edition, they want the title bold now. So I'm going to make this bold, the title of my paper. Okay, so there's the title. Now, Again, we're on double space, so that's important. So I'm going to hit return twice. Okay, you see what I did? This is important. Hit return twice. Don't put your name right beneath there. You're supposed to put an extra space in there. Okay, I'm going to put in my name. Um, APA 7th edition standards say they would like to see your middle initial. That's up to you and your instructor if you really need that. I'll put mine in here. Okay, we hit enter again. Then you put in your school. Hit return again, put in your course number, then a colon and the title of the course. Hit return again, put in your instructor's name. Hit return again and put in the date and spell out the date. Don't abbreviate. Okay, that's the title page. For most student papers, that's all that you're going to need for a title page. So we've got that all set up. Let's go down to the next page. And again, I, I'm just going to show you the basics here. There's a lot of other things you, you're gonna to wanna to put your paper formatting wise. I'm just going to show you the absolute basics of the things every paper is going to need. So here we're down on the second page. We want it centered again, and we're going to put the title in. And again, make the title bold here. Now notice up here, nothing else was bold. 
just the title. All this information is regular. Here on the, on the page where your actual text of your paper starts, make sure we're all the way at the top, and then we're going to make this bold again and centered. Okay. At that point, I would take the centering off, I would take the bold off, and I would type the text of my paper. Now, depending on your assignment and depending on your instructor and the guidelines you've been given, there probably will be a lot of other headings in your paper, but I'm just going to focus on the basics here. Okay, just going to focus on the absolute basics so you know how to get going on this paper. There's the title page, we got the numbering in there, there's the title of the paper. Now, let's say we we're going to do the last page of the paper would be a references page. And so after all the typing of your paper is done, you're going to go to a new page and do a references page. So that's what this is. Let's say this is the last the last page. Even, uh, even if your references page would fit up here, you would always want to go to a new page. We're going to center this again, make it bold again, and type in references. That's a change from the 6th edition. In the 6th edition, things weren't bold like this, but they are now. So that uh, that's how you do it. That That is a setup for your And then here you would put in your references after that. Take the centering off. Take the bold off and put in your references. But I'm just showing you the format here today, just how you would get this set up. This is just the basic framework of how you're going to set up a paper in APA 7th edition standards. And the changes, and I think the changes are great. Isn't it nice not to have to put that, that running head and that header in here? That was always so complicated for students. So there you go. As always, uh, ask me any questions that you have, and I'll help you any way that I can. Thank you.